by Andy Hayes, news reporter the nuclear deal struck with Iran in 2015 should be kept because it allows intrusive inspections, Boris Johnson has said. The foreign secretary intervened after Israel accused Tehran of covering up its weapons program before signing the deal three years ago. Mr. Johnson said a presentation by Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu underlines the importance of keeping the deal's constraints on Iran in place. At a time of growing uncertainty, Donald Trump has set a 12 May deadline to decide whether to pull the U.S. out of the accord. What Benjamin Netanyahu wants to achieve with his Iran stunt, 040 video, Israeli PM, Iran hiding nuclear data Mr. Netanyahu said, half a ton of secret Iranian documents obtained by his government showed Iran was brazenly lying. Later, he told CNN he was not seeking war with Iran. After signing the deal in 2015, Iran was obliged to limit its nuclear energy program, amid fears the country could use the technology to make a nuclear weapon. Economic sanctions were lifted in return. Iran has denied ever seeking nuclear weapons. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo said he had personally reviewed many of the Iranian files. Image, Donald Trump has set a deadline of the 12th of May to decide whether to leave the deal they showed that Iran had a secret nuclear weapons program for years, he added. A senior Israeli official said Mr. Netanyahu had told Mr. Trump about the documents on 5 March, and that the U.S. president agreed that Israel would publish the information before 12 May. In addition to the U.K., the EU, France and the UN's nuclear watchdog, the International Atomic Energy Agency, IAEA, have also cast doubt on the significance of Mr. Netanyahu's presentation. Explaining his support for the 2015 agreement, Mr. Johnson said it was not based on trust about Iran's intentions, rather it is based on tough verification, including measures that allow inspectors from the IAEA unprecedented access to Iran's nuclear program. Image, Mr. Netanyahu speaks during a news conference at the Ministry of Defense. The IAEA said it believed that Iran had coordinated nuclear weapons program before 2003, but had found no credible indications of such work after 2009, Mr. Johnson added. The fact that Iran conducted sensitive research in secret until 2003 shows why we need the intrusive inspections allowed by the Iran nuclear deal today. The verification provisions in the Iran nuclear deal would make it harder for Iran to restart any such research. That is another good reason for keeping the deal while building on it in order to take account of the legitimate concerns of the U.S. and our other allies. Image, Mike Pompeo said he had personally reviewed many of the Iranian files. The European Union's foreign affairs chief, Federica Mogherini, said she was unsure whether Mr. Netanyahu's presentation had changed the narrative. What I have seen from the first reports is that Prime Minister Netanyahu has not put into question Iran's compliance, she said. And a spokesman for France's foreign ministry said the pertinence of the deal is reinforced by the details presented by Israel. Iran described Mr. Netanyahu as an infamous liar. Israel's allegations were worn out, useless and shameful, said foreign ministry spokesman Baram Ghassemi.